meeting for got it and now we're recording we are going to be letting everybody in so they can join the fun <laughs> okay all right good morning look at all the no faces come on turn your cameras on let's go let's go it's tuesday time to have some fun with technology right Okay, so thank you for coming. Happy Tech Tuesday. I'm super excited uh, to learn about Chime slash Lofty. Now it's Lofty. I don't I don't know why people have to make change like that. But anyway, um, it's a super cool program that has a CRM and a website. And um, I know it's like a pretty expensive program. So... Uh, but at EXP, we only get it, what is it, 40 or $50 a month for- um, $40, with, and then then you pay a lofty $10 if you want the IDX, so $50 right. altogether. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, so Herb and Betty are on my team, and they use it, and they love it, so they're going to tell me all about it and try to get me to convert to the dark <laughs> side. The recording in progress. Okay, Herb, you are on two- Different ones. Hold on. Yes. The, okay. the computer. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, we're going to start off. Uh, Betty's going to talk to us a little bit about the cool things that she does with um, Chime and uh, as far as the website goes. And then Herb, once he's done taking children to school, he is going to share the front end of Chime. So, um, Betty, go ahead and share your screen and tell everybody what this is all about and why you've been so obsessed with this for months. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to be talking about the Chime website and how easy it is to um, customize it. Um, so, uh, and beyond, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. So... Here's my screen. Okay, so here's my um try to get rid of this. Here's my website right now with, with Chime. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Yeah. So and then I was able to do this all by myself. Um just I you were able to customize. There's so many features you could you um you could utilize on Chime um or Lofty. And then this will take you to, uh, you know, another screen with, you know, to get more listings. So what's my home worth? All this, all these apps are already pre-built, and they and um, and you could uh, to get generate leads. And then also it's pretty cool that like the cities and neighborhoods. Um, if you like, if you click on one of them, and it shows all the demographics of the of the city, the neighborhood, and what's sold. And um, anyway, it's it's amazing tool. No, oh, that's nice. So that's your market report? Market report. So for to get the market report, they have to like sign in to get the market report or market trends. Mm -hmm. So um, how do I like get rid of this uh, thing up on top? You just got to move it around. Uh, oh, I can't get to my, um, my bars here. There's like a... Yeah, you click on the top of that bar and you can move it down. Oh, I can, okay. There you go. Okay. There you go. Okay. So that's what, so what up today? Uh, so there's a lot of features and it's very um, user-friendly uh, to create your own uh, customized website. And there's like uh, all kinds of neighborhoods. One of the things that I want to show, share, uh, share with you today is how I was able to create like a website slash page on Canva. And I was able to embed into Chime website and use it as a landing. So, you know, landing page. And then from there, I could um, I could um, uh, you know tap into some of the um, landing pages that I've already created in Chime, like for instance, like downloading a guide or or uh, things like that. So let me show you. Um, so my one of my niches is seniors. So I created this page um, on using Canva, and it's Senior Resource Hub. So within this page I created, I could um, look at this guide, you know by clicking it. And then, so I had given this option of down, you could download the guide. So if they, if I click on this, it's gonna take me to a landing page 
on Chime where they have to give me information to download the guide. So this is a good way, a great way to like capture leads. So that's one of the things um, you could do. And also then I have other guides for senior related, the same thing, they could download all these different guides or they can click on this and then it will take me to a, a, another page where it has all, all the guides for the senior related and they could download here and, that, and this will go to the, uh, to those uh, landing pages for downloading the guides. Um, and other things, you could, you know, watch videos, you know, on this page. Um, so my my goal is for, I'm like I said, I'm working with the seniors. I'm trying to capture leads with seniors. So what I'm eventually drive all my seniors, you know, when I run ads or anything, to drive them to this page where just there's all kinds of information for them. And at the same time, I can capture, you know, they can click on, if they want to download, capture their leads. This is here, this page is more like informational, but I just want them to get interested so they, they could click on, um, you know, to watch my videos and and then they can watch, this will take me, uh, take them to my YouTube channel with all my, all my senior related, um, I have a, uh, on my YouTube channel, I have a um, section just for all senior videos. So this will take them to, I'll click on it. We'll take them to my senior pages. No, your my playlist. Playlist, that's it. Playlist, cool. yes. Yeah. So that's another thing. And here, down in the bottom, I could schedule schedule a call using, this is a scheduler is with Chime. So if you click on that, it's going to take me to a Chime um, schedule. And they can schedule any um, appointments with me. So so there's it's very, very versatile. And what I could do is, um, and then also I, this is, I'm doing I, another page I created. It's called the buyer home buyers roadmap. So this is not completely com, uh, completed, but this is what I'm working on. And eventually, um, yeah, I'm not sure, I, you know, I'm working out the kinks right now because I think it's too um, compacted, but um, so this is like uh, start here. This is like the buyers um, home buyers roadmap. So like the first thing, uh, you know, to contact a mortgage lender, get pre-approved. So there's like a, I put a, a video, what not to do. Oh, you know, for home, first time home buyers. And if you click on this, they could, to define, you know, the buyers need to, you know, define what they want and needs. And this will uh, take them to a, um, where it could download a, a worksheet so they could define their dream home. So in order to get that, they would have to, you know, input their names. So, so and then here, here's a buyer's guide that they, they can look at. And also they could download the guide. And here, as they go down, when it's ready to search for homes, you click on that and this will take me take them to my, um, uh, where they can search for homes. So there's so many different ways you can capture leads on this creating a page from, from this is all done from Canva. And- Yeah, I was gonna uh, say, so you popped those, so you made the roadmap in there and then you popped your videos in there. Yes. Uh, and then did you just copy the code and take it yes, to the page? Exactly. Let me show you what I how easy it is to do it on Canva, how to embed. So what I did is for instance, um here I was doing it. Here's like a sample one that I was gonna oh and that's not the sample one. Um how do you make it so long? Oh, you could you could size it, customize it. So let me show you. I'm gonna create uh here's one I just started. Uh I was gonna Oh, that's not it. I keep giving you the. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, here's a test one. Here. Okay, here's a shorter one. Um, let me show you because that's easier because there's less stuff on there. And in the way. And you just found that road like in Canva? Oh, on Canva. I used, uh, yes. I just put it oh, in the elements. The elements. And I, 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 I searched for road. That's cool. And then you have all these roadmaps. So, I, and I just kind of, you know, find the one that works. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, so. Uh, why is it? Uh, okay. Okay, so here we go. Say we have this. Oh, what I do here, um, what this, I created this using a website. You know what, let me just show you from, from scratch. So um, so if you were to do it from scratch, create a design, you do a website. 
Oh, okay. But it's not going to be a website though. It's going to be just a page because I'm not going to um, uh, right. publish it. So in here, um, the the default size is 1366 by 768. Uh, but mm -hmm. what I did is I kept like adding stuff. I made it bigger, longer, longer. So right now I'm using a 2000 by 6,000. Okay. Just for that one page. This, yeah. I'm not going to use any, I'm not going to add any more pages. Um, and okay. Then just, okay. That's just, it's just big. But let me just maybe, uh, okay. So what I do is at first, you know, to get the header, I would get, um, we'll get a picture, a uh, photo, like this one I used. Oh. Where did it go? Okay. So I'll use something like this and I'll crop it. So I only want like a header. So you get this. So that goes there. The next thing I do, I would get the road. Um, but, you know, you get the road. But let me show you, um, you know, how to, um, I don't know if people are familiar with Canva and what you can do. And I think one of the things is um, converting, getting a video. Uh, for instance, let me do, Make it a box here. And to get a video in there, you just have to go to uh, your, um, for instance, one of your, um, here. So you just get one of your, um, your videos from from your YouTube channel, and you go uh, back in there, and what you do is you uh, right click and paste. And here it go. It went it went down below. So that's how that's how your video. It's just how you could download a video like this, and then you could. Um, that's cool because yeah, I I use the app. There's an app in in Canva, if you go to yeah. apps, there's a YouTube yeah. app. And if you type there's, in Toronto, it'll bring up all yeah. your videos. Exactly, you could do that too. There's an app, YouTube app too, but- That's cool. Anyway, so anyway, and then you that can just- really add, easy. easy. And then um, I just want to show you, um, and then you could you know, add a text wherever, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's so small. So um, like contact a lender, just to make it. You know, I I don't want I didn't want this to be like a Canva session, but uh, but it's it's amazing what you could do with Canva. People appreciate people appreciate all the tools. So okay, yeah. so that's one way to to bring in your video. Okay, another way. So this is not really a lead capture for for a chime, but this is just you know a lot of it's a great information to get people interested in your page. So another item um, you could enter is a um, you know a link to the guide. Uh, so let me bring up another, um, I'm just going to copy, Let's make this, I'm, you know, you could do whatever you want, but I just want different colors for different, um, so to bring in the, um, element, a button, uh, something like this. And so say this is a button, uh, it says, okay. I'm... okay, download. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna make it download so we know. Uh, so in here, all you have to do is do the link and then I would go to my website, look for the um, downloading the worksheet. Okay, this downloading worksheet is not published. It's a kind of, it's like a, um, a a landing page that's hidden. So, but I could um, let's define your dream home. 
So go. So I would. This is a. Um, this is a landing page for the downloading the uh, the worksheet. So. And so you, made get, land, you made the landing page, landing page using Chime. And I I'm going to show you Chime. how to make the landing. Yeah, using Chime or using Lofty. So, and then I would just go and um, put the link of that landing page in here. And that's it. Oh, okay. That's it. And uh, it when you do a link in there, it under, uh, you know, puts a, um, under the line under, I'd like to remove that. So download guide here. And then um, that's just one thing. And then another thing, the other thing that I was I made is um, uh, is uh, the guide, how to um, bring a guide in in here to to display to show, and that's super easy. Also, here's my buyer's guide, uh, and then what I do is I embed it. So I need to get the embed code. Oh, here's my I do more you will see the embed. And for this one, I would use the smart embedded link. I copy that. Oh, what's and the go, difference? Okay, the, the one on top is the HTML embed, which I, I will think. use, then I'll use that code to embed that code into um, this page into Chime. I'll show you okay. that, there's, there's a difference. This is a smart one, you need that uh, to embed. Paste. A little while to bring it in. You might. There we go. So there you go. Oh, and I then, see. So this yeah. is not okay. I got it. That's yeah. cool. So here's a buyer's guy, and then I like to copy and paste. And then download this guy guide, but you got to make sure you change the link on this one because that's gonna be my buyer's guide, which I can get, uh, let's see, where is, can I get buy a guide? I just need to get the, um, so in here I would switch to a buyer guide. So, so that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. Uh, so this, so you can get, a, you know, there's like a, you could uh, download the guide or you could hear, I mean, you can't see it here, but once you have it um, up, I mean, in a in a page, you could uh -huh. um, you could look at the um, the guide. So let me show you how this is. We'll call this um, test page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and embed it into Lofty uh, website. So in order to do that, uh, you would do, oh, I first I need to set it up. This might be like really too a lot, but once you get it, it's so easy to do. So I'm back in, so I'm back in Chime in editor. And in here, this is where you create your own, your own page, your know, or landing page. So if I could let, add a page. And so if I want to bring a page in, it's going to be a blank. And then, and then this is going to be the test page. And what it does, it's going to create a um, a sub page under BettyToronto.com. That's my main uh, website. And then it'll have a um, uh, a sub page called test page. And that's where I'm going to bring in that test um, site. So here I'm going to be embedding. So this is. So you take the embed, oh, wait, hang on, embed, and here you got to embed the code. So we're going to bring this session. It's really, it seems kind of, but it's really, once you get it, it's super easy to do <laughs> and, and create as many. So this is where your HTML code goes, codes. So you go in here, so you share, and then you do embed. That's, this is where you uh, copy the, the HTML embed code. Okay. Right. So you got copy it. that. And you go back into your um, uh, lofty um, editor. So this is where you um, paste um, your code. But the, I type. I found out with some um, trial and error what needs to be uh, displayed to make it work. Uh, there's this one section that okay. There's 
this part has to be view. If it says watch, it's not going to work. So anyway, so I just double check and make sure this says view on there. So you just update code and here it is. Voila. And we just load in. Very just cool. like that. Okay. And then we're going to publish and we're going to look at it. It's not going to look pretty, but this is what it is. So this is the website. It says bettytron.com test page. Okay. And then here you can watch the video. It'll play. And then okay. here, download guide. It's going to take me to that guide where I can start downloading my work, uh, worksheet. And then, where did that go? Where is it? And then here, you can look at my guide. It'll go through my guide. And also, then you can download the guide too. I mean, another, you know, lead capture and the landing page. So that's why. I, I, just, I just can't say enough about um, and um, about Lofty and the editor and the capability, what you could do, especially with, with Canva. Because within within Chime editing and web, website editor, you can't do you can't do the website like this, like Canva can. OK, so that's why using Canva and uh, Chime editor, you can make you could do all sorts of things. So my you know, I'm thinking after after I'm done with the, uh, you know, the rote map home buyers roadmap i want to do the seller's roadmap road, roadmap it's almost like like a funnel but it can um but it really you could drive all your all your lead like when you run facebook ads or any leads you could drive them to this website and they have so many different avenues and you have so many different avenues of capturing their leads you know you just want them engaged in this website and you can put whatever you want in here and um, so I'm always constantly thinking, well, what else can I do to capture their leads? What else can I, you know, add? So this is something you could keep, you know, changing, altering. Anyway, so, so here's my, um, let me see. So, yeah. So, oh, by the way, I want to see something cool. Let me show you my, uh, it's not finished. I'm still working on it. This is my home buyer's guide. Uh, where is it? Okay, here's my home buyer's guide. I have step 12, 12 steps. One, two, three, four, it just keeps going. And all these, you know, every step, there's either A, tells you what, you know, what stage you're looking at, anything that's related to that that uh, that step. I would have a video or whatever. And then, um, so, and there's a couple, the last two, I, can, I didn't have any video or anything. So I had, can't, I had ChatGPT create a, a image of you know of this last two stages or stage ten and twelve, which is I just you know it, it's crazy what you could do right now with ChatGPT. So I said you know create you know send, you know create an image you know somebody signing a loan docs with their um with their uh, notary. So and here I didn't have the final video for this one or anything for this one. So I had ChatGPT create a photo of happy couple, you know, that, just, <laughs> yeah. So Perfect. anyway, actually the first one turned out with like someone, uh, the girl had a, a, a third arm. So anyways, I had to read it. Right? <laughs> but anyway, so this, this is, this is pretty much in a nutshell, the capability of, of, of Lofty. And there's so much you could do, you know, I'm not sure if other um, website editors or, you know, is able to do what you could do with Lofty, but I'm just blown away what, you know, the flexibility and uh, and the ease of using this. And once you get it down, it took me a while for trial and error, try to figure out how to embed. Um, but once I get it, uh, you know, I was able to figure that out. Um, I mean, it's it's amazing what you can do. Right. So, no, anyway. I, I really like it. Um, you know, I I do. I did embrace KB Core and mm -hmm. I can do pages like this in ours, but not the landing pages. So the landing pages have to be the different part of it. Yeah. But yeah, I, and, created, I created pages in Canva like this. I copied the code and I put it into KB Core. So yeah, yeah. So it can it can be done, but I do like that you have all those extra landing pages in there in order to yeah. do that. But I guess you could create landing pages in Canva and point them to those or something like that. Well, you but, have to landing pages has to be created. Well, this is like the main landing pages, but all these, if right. you want to capture leads within right. Canva, within Chime or Lofty, it has mm -hmm. to be, the landing page has to be created in Lofty. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Like, like the downloading the guide 
or like, you know, for them to search uh, properties, um, things like that. Uh, you want, you have to have it in Lofty or Ch Chime for, for, the, for the Lofty can kind of grab all that information. So this is all my, um, so like right here, um, uh, like right here, like uh, if you go to my website, this is the main site, like the senior resource. So I have that senior resource hub. That's the, um, that hub. And right. then this one is like the, this is a guide, you know, had all the guides. So, um, but here's the, the hidden navigation. It's not part of the main webpage, uh, website, but it has, I could create all these landing pages in here and then, and, and then uh, use it with, right, you know, cool. outside, use it in Canva. And, and then you can run out. You can run ads on these and point them here. So absolutely, that's why. Yeah, you can run ads and point to any of these landing pages or your um, the website or that's created from from Chime. I mean, from Canva. So as long as the Canva link points to your Chime um, landing pages, you know, Chime could uh, capture those leads. Yeah, very yeah. cool. Awesome. All yes. right. Uh, we did have a couple questions. Hold on. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, my hand raised. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, I was looking in the chat. There was a couple I wanted to talk to. Uh, Betty, I see you're with the XP. Why don't you use KB Core website? It was, I think, the landing pages that um, made. I, I tried. I tried um, using KB Core. And it wasn't as user friendly. I was very, very frustrated, and I I gave up. And then then I heard that we were um, that as an EXP agent, we have access to Chime for so much cheaper. So I decided to uh, give that uh, Chime a um, an, uh, yeah a chance to kind of dive into their. Um, and then I found out it's so much user friendly, and and they're so versatile. And I mean, for me, I found it really, really easy to customize my website without paying a thousands of dollars. You could right. definitely pay someone to customize, but I was able to, um, you know, I would look at, uh, watch, you know, like Herb had his website and then other people, and I would kind of try to mimic what they did. But it took a while for me to figure it out, but eventually I, I was able to do. It looks um, beautiful. Uh, yeah. Did you use Canva for your website background? So uh yes a lot of my uh a lot of my um photos or images is from canva let me see where okay. it is. yeah yeah okay and then uh da, 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 can you customize the scheduler with certain times yes yes it's 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 a lot like candle can candlely uh, but it's it but it's um uh, like right here it's built in let me show you that's uh, really cool and it yeah. can link to your google calendar Yes. Yes. You could sync with your Google cal calendar. It's just like Calendly, but it's just part of Chime and it's free because it's, you know, it's one of the, uh, what they offer. Because I did have Calendly. I was, I was directing to Calendly, but then when I found that we have our own, I mean, Chime had their own. I actually, I don't use Candle Candly anymore and just uh, use um, Chime calendar scheduler. Okay, how much uh, does this cost per month, Sherry? Are you asking about Chime? Because with EXP, it's like 40 or $50 a month, depending on if you want IDX or not. Um, uh, outside of EXP, I, I really don't know how much it costs. Yeah, outside of EXP. About $350. Okay. Uh, Wendy? Yeah. Uh, with some of the add-ons that you're going to want uh, in Chime, if if you're buying a, a straight subscription, it can run up into 500 pretty quick. Oh, like not with EXP? Okay. And it's worth it. So anybody yeah, I heard I heard that it was a, a pretty spendy program. So, but spendy because it has some cool tools. So that's good. Yeah, this is just a like I said, this is just the website, you know, uh, version of it. And Herb's going to talk about uh, the front end or you know the main um, CRM. And it's amazing uh, what they they are uh, what they offer. And um, I just went. I think I told uh, Wendy that I just did their um, marketing um, uh, webinar, and it's crazy what's what's available. Especially if you're doing geo farming, they have a built-in um, you know uh, program where you could you know get people's addresses and depending on their age and all that stuff. So 
I mean, that's just, you know, some of the things that they offer. And um, anyway, and then I think Herb could really, and he he utilizes the the uh, the chatbot and, you know, he pay extra to get the chatbot. I haven't done that yet. And he, you know, I know he, he um, you know, loves that feature. So it uh, looks like Gia uses it. She said it's the easiest site to build without knowing how to code. Yes. It's basically plug and play. Uh, so you have to have time to do this. Well, this is how it's done in Chime. You can do it in other programs too, but that's not what this class is about. She's just saying it's it's super easy to do through Chime. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see here. Haven't can seen you that. Add something um, for the. I know you said one day that you can do some of this in KB Core, but I actually was working with one guy who's like a expert in KB Core and going on some of his trainings. Some of the things that people were asking for, he had to code. He had to build the code and send it to them. Whereas here, for things like what she's doing now, that's just basically plug and play. Right. So well, the well, I created the um, the pages uh, on mine uh, just like that. I put them in Canva. I copied the code and I put it into KB Core. So I'm not sure what that guy was having problems with doing, but like, this is a seller's tips page. So I basically created this in Canva, dropped in all the, my seller videos. And I could have like did, you know, a design. I could have designed it totally different, kind of like her roadmap one. I actually really love that, but uh, you can do that. Um, I also did community videos. So I created a community video page about um, our community. But, but were there any way to capture leads? Like, you know, you know, have them, you know, right. so if they click page. on, yeah, if they yeah. click on a link, then uh, it takes them somewhere else, obviously. Yeah. So, um, uh, but, but yeah, that's the thing is the landing pages, the lead capture, that's, that's huge. So, but as far as just the pages go, you can make pages yeah. and them in KB Core. So yeah. I was just, I, I did the seller tips videos because I already have the cap, the lead. I'm pointing them to all my seller videos. You know what I mean? I just want them, like you said, to be able to watch you, you know, yeah. and, and learn and get their house ready uh, yeah. to, make, to make your life easier. So uh, Herb, were you able to pull over? I can't find you. Hold on. Yes, I'm here. Uh, oh, you, okay. you here as a host. Okay, um, we're gonna make you co-host, and then I'm gonna allow you to share your screen. Okay, so Herb is gonna talk to us about uh, the front end. Well, uh, first off, I, I want to see. I want to see from everyone, like who is. Um, let's get back to that screen. Darn it! Uh, who's using? Uh, who's using? Um, uh, Lofty, uh, right now. Raise your hand. All right, I see a couple. Oh, look at that. We got a couple. All right, great, great, great. I know Leon is. Hey, Leon. All right, super. I don't see everyone's picture there, but, um, you know, I, um, just a little background is, you know, long ago, I loved Line Desk until Line Desk stopped working for me. And, um, and for the longest time, there were two CRMs that I was totally excited about one of them KV Core and the other one Chime. And, you know, if you're not part of EXP, you should look into it, contact Wendy. But if you are, you have access to two of the most Cadillac programs out there. And I really, um, I liked everything about KV Core, except there was some sort of problem and glitch I was having with clients not seeing pictures. So that kind of killed that for me. And I tried Chime and I absolutely love it. Uh, so one of the things, so let me share my screen and go into a couple of my favorite features of the program. All right. So Betty, and by the way, Betty, you're incredible. Everything that you put together there and your landing pages and all of that is is tremendous. I mean, Betty asked me about Chime probably about a month or two ago and, uh, look what she's done in no time flat. I mean, it's really amazing. You know, one of the cool things about Chime is it does have the IDX feature. So if you have programs like Ylopo or other programs like that, 
um, it, you know, it, you, it's, it's a CRM that's tied directly to your IDX search. And so you bring people to your website and have them interact with things on your website, people in your database, people outside your database, you bring them all in. And it does have lead capture mechanisms so that if they see a certain number of pages or anything like that, that it will have a pop-up and try and capture their information. So there's lots of great reasons to send them to these sites. And uh, let me share, let me just show you if I can get this, how do I get this thing out of the way? You gotta click on the top bar and move it down. There or over. There you go. Whew. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. So um like here's just a you know, Betty did a great job talking about the website. This right here is my website. I'm in a mobile, so here we go. It takes a second to pop up, but here's like mine. You can integrate it with all these, you know, pretty much click and drag what you want on your page. And it can access inventory in your area with certain criteria and you can layer that criteria. So like I have on here where it shows like EXP Realty listings first so that they go, oh yeah, Herb's busy. And, um, and then- <laughs> Perfect. You can integrate videos um, and, you know, you can have the homes that you just recently sold in there. Um, you can have communities, all that kind of stuff. You can build it to do anything that you that you want to do. OK, and then um, in here. Importing leads, super easy. I mean, pretty much you just throw a CSV file at it and it figures it out and it will import it. It's amazing. Uh, but one of the things that it does that's really cool is you see this thing here that says lead score. You don't have to pay extra for this. This is part of the program. What it does is it monitors all the interactions that people are having with your website, with your emails, with your text messages, with everything. Are they responding? Are they, you know, visiting your website? Are they opening up the the you know, you can set searches in property searches and all that kind of stuff in here. You can set up things like HomeBot. You know how HomeBot does like your property valuation. It's got the same thing. Uh, so there's, it's really kind of funny. I've always hated programs that are like a one-all, do-all kind of thing. And I usually steer far clear of that. But this one really, it has it all. It does it all. It's like, why am I paying for this and that and this other thing and that other thing? And it's all right here. And for 50 bucks a month, you get the CRM and you get the website. It's truly, you know, you should just sign up for it and try it out at least. Um, it also includes a phone number. So you get your personal phone number. If you got KV Core, you still have to pay $35 a month just for that phone number. This one is included. Um and so when you're viewing all your people, here I have it sorted by lead score. So these are like my most active people. One thing that's really cool is you can select people. And uh, here I have it showing 50 leads at a time. So here it just, I, I'm taking the top 50. I can mass email them. I can mass text them. I can send them to a dialer. Well, it will dial them one line or three lines at a time. Um, I can slide broadcast them. You can easily integrate this with Sly Broadcast. So I can just say, hey, it's Herb. How's everyone doing? Just wanted to hope you, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And, uh, you know, whatever you want to say, call me if you have, a, you know, want to talk about real estate. And that's it. Send them a message. Um, it has some other features that you can also integrate into your campaigns. Like for a campaign, you can actually have it do a Sly Broadcast send. And you can have it automatically text people throughout the campaign, which if you're on follow-up boss, you can't do. Um, um, you can also, what's really neat is in a campaign, one of your smart campaigns in Chime or Lofty here, you can do a Zapier trigger. So you can say, I want to call Zapier and tell it to do something. And then Zapier can do that other thing which is really amazing. Um, so let's see. Um, so anyway, 
and you can assign smart plans, all that kind of stuff. So just wanted to cover that and show you that. And then let's talk a little bit about um, my some a really cool feature that they have that I absolutely love. And this is, I scheduled this one this morning to go out on my social media. So you can schedule your social media posts and basically have a calendar here of things. So like uh, Saturday, December 2nd, I have scheduled strategies to sell your home quickly in today's market. And that's going to post or it's going to do a blog post. So I already have a blog post on this site that it's going to promote on my social channels. And it'll give you all the stats for how well it performs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so let's say I want to go in for Friday and I want to schedule something. I can do, I can schedule one of my listings or a friend's listing. So let me show you how easy that is. So let's just say, I wanna look at our office listings. And uh, let's say I wanna say, uh, let's just talk about this one here, West Hills, great. Uh, boom, and boom, and then next. So what this will do, so, it will pull up all your listings and you can just this easy click and and it can automatically create a video too which is a really cool feature so you select the pictures that you want to be part of the video and then you know generate a listing video i'm just going to do a couple pictures here so maybe it'll go faster oh six i need six all right and it will create a video for you of this to go in your Facebook post. And then what it will do, it will have that link. That link will bring you to that. I mean, look at this automatically done for you. I mean, so easy. And then that link will bring them to your landing page on your website with your information about this property. So if you want to boost it, you could Facebook post it. You can you know, run an ad from there if you wanted, whatever you wanted to do. Super easy to do. I can't believe that house is a million dollars. I am You should see the garbage that we have for a million dollars. Yeah, hey, Herb, one thing on that, what they're going to say, be, because you got the IDX incorporated into that, your listings automatically pull into time without you having to do it. And then yes. you go right in there and launch wherever you want it to go. Yes, exactly. You 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 can set that up. And so like on my website, it pulls all my listings first and they, those go up first. Um, so it's not like you have to do extra work. It's all automatic. Um, that was just a post or was that a paid ad? That was, so that will post it. You can convert that to a paid ad from that point forward. Um, and what it will do is it will put it out there on your LinkedIn, your Facebook, your whatever channels you want. So like, let's, cool. let's, do, let's just do another one and let's do a blog or you can do your landing pages. So like oh, the that Betty just is, showed you. Be posting your landing pages. You can go right here. Like, let's just, uh, let's do that. Uh, let's do a landing page. So like this landing page. So here are some landing pages already set up. Like beach, beach properties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next. You know, um, and then you can say something creative here. It's not going to post it to Instagram, but it's going to go to Facebook, LinkedIn, my Google, my business page, all that stuff. You can easily change the pictures. Whatever I want to go to Instagram. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't have it set up right or or oh. it's kind of post. I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure. Okay. And usually usually if it's in Facebook, it'll post across. And Wendy's gonna love this one. You can put video links in there for it to blow out from this to go out as well. So it it's really, really proactive. Yeah, like you can change the images on this. Uh, um let's see. Oh, you Oops. can upload you can upload your own photo right there. <laughs> you upload your own Is that photo. what you're saying? Video? You can put your video there? put a video there you can edit when you want it the post and all that kind of stuff that's cool <laughs> excuse me so ah. this is really like you know you could just spend like 15 minutes in here you know twice a month 
and line up all kinds of posts on your social media. Um, super easy. Just right through this thing. Um, let's see. Okay. What else. Herb, if you have Kiwi Core, how do you find out about Chime? I'm not seeing it in Marketplace. Where did you guys find it to get that discount? Yeah, let's see. So um, look in uh, Workplace and there's a Chime group in there and just ask for uh, okay. for Chime access. Okay. And they'll uh, there's something already posted there of how to get it. Did they rename the group Lofty or is it still Chime? Yeah, I <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Not not a hundred percent sure on that one. But um, have you see. figured out how to bypass only being able to send two hundred mass emails out at a time? Yeah. So what you do is you uh, see up here you can view however many people on a page. And then you just have to select your pages uh, and then select all there. And then, and then, and then you can get, I think more than. Well, there's 50 right there showing. So if you click yeah. on them, how, how long does that go? Um, Wendy, uh, Wendy, it'll keep track of it till you get 200, but it will not let you send out more than 200 in one no. iteration. But what no, you, can a, a herb. Is you can yeah. set up a smart plan with the same parameters as you used in your search for the people. And then you can send it out as a smart plan to X hundred. Yeah. Okay. And then you have the option of drop down to have a hundred to a page at a time if you want. Right. And Herb just has 50 selected right now. Right. Right. And the, and the other thing too, is that, um, you know, uh, sometimes you don't want to send out too many at a time especially like text they're, keep, they're keeping you out of google jail sarah <laughs> yeah yeah i've so been there before it's not fun <laughs> so you okay. kind of want to monitor that but live, uh, live broadcast great to use for fizbos and expireds yeah you know um some of the campaigns that they have been here like um uh, what I've been doing is I've been taking all my expired data and getting their phone numbers and um, emails and just dropping them into here and then assigning an, one of their expired campaigns onto it. And, um, and uh, I'd be, you know, it's quite interesting um, the responses that you get. So some people are actually responding quite positively. I haven't had any real negative experiences so far with that. And then, the other thing I was going to mention is the AI assistant. And this thing just blows my mind. This is unbelievable, incredible, outstanding. I mean, it's talking to leads as they pop in or, you know, you can set the hours that you want it to uh, talk to people and all that kind of stuff. And um, here you can put your active hours in there and whatnot. But this thing uses an AI that I swear to God, you cannot tell this is not a person. I mean, it is so smart. I see Leon nodding there. It's incredible. <laughs> and it engages people. And they start telling it, I'm looking for a three-bedroom house in this area with so many square feet and this other thing. And then it starts creating an automatic search for them and starts emailing them houses, meeting those specs. And then you wake up in the morning and you look at this chat that happened and you go, oh my God, this is crazy. That's awesome. <laughs> While you were sleeping. I mean, it's nuts. And it will schedule appointments for you to talk to them and all kinds of things. It's just, it it blows my mind. And, and I've tried some of these automatic or, you know, these other services that claim to do this kind of thing. And I have not seen the results that this thing generates. I mean, it, and I don't know what it is about Chime or Lofty, but their even their can campaigns get so much better responses um, out of it than I've seen on anything else. So, the the way you describe that is it does behavioral monitoring. And then it'll go into your Chime setup. And if you, you, you can set up your own smart plans of what you want, it will automatically configure something for them, for that person. So if they came into your listing that you had, it'll ask if they want to see it or if they're just browsing. It'll pre-qualify them if they need a lender. It'll turn around, set something up for you, and it'll notify you, hey, her uh, such and such needs uh, 
wants to look at your listing, but they need a lender. I mean, it's just, if you don't have an assistant, you are one. This thing is a wicked assistant. For sure. Awesome. Yeah. Michelle, you have a question? I was just, this isn't on this topic. This is more of a Betty thing. Um, okay. uh, so the, the clickable guide that you have, that buyer, buyer guide that you're click, click, clicking, is that a Canvas yes. thing that you made in Canvas? Yes. Yeah, so that's what Canva. Is the template that makes that. Well, it's it's just a feature in Canva, and all you have to do is, like I said, you know, go into your Canva. If you have a guide in Canva, yeah. you just have to share the uh, the smart uh, embedded link, and you just copy and paste into your page, and it pops up automatically. Well, and it'll do the click, 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 click thing. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. And once you activate that. that page, then then it'll do the click, click, click. Not when you're editing, but when you're done, it'll do the yeah. It'll be okay. it's it's like flipbook you know, uh, you know, for free, you know, on Canva. Yeah. Love it. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. And then, uh, Janice, good morning. Good morning. I just have a question. I, I have time, mm -hmm. but when I'm trying to send bulk emails 200 at a time, mm -hmm. if there's email addresses in there that are wrong, it won't send the 200. It will not let me. Do you have a solution for that? <laughs> uh, so at, you select 200 people and of those 200 people, there's a certain number that have invalid email addresses. Correct. It won't send any of them. Oh, it doesn't send any of them. No, that's, that's I haven't come across that problem. Now, mine on that one, it won't send to the invalid ones. But now here's the other thing you can do. I once a month I recommend and any no matter what platform you have, Chime will let you go in and select emails that bounce. So when you you always should be scrubbing and scraping through your database. I just go in and look for emails that bounce or didn't deliver. It gives you that option. When all those pull up, I'm always building the database. I'll go find a new email address or something for them, put the new email address in, make that the primary, and I keep the bad one in there and mark it as bad so I know what it was. But awesome. everything else delivers. Also, I, I don't remember what their what their parameters are, but if a certain percentage of someone's emails uh, generate a, a bounce or a, or a, a junk email, um, it'll stop you for a certain period of days. And also now they're recommending that you that you make a tweak to your uh, email sending account so that you're not using the chime email you're assigned. Uh, yeah. the joys of technology. Evangelia, you have a question? Yes, I have two. Well, it could be combined into one. The AI in, intergate, the AI assistant that you said, and the number and addresses, is that extra or does that come with your normal membership? Herb, was that extra? The AI? So the it's AI, extra, yeah. The AI no, no, no. Is, an extra, is an extra feature. Um, I think I have it for like 80 or 100 um, leads a month. And I think it's like $40 or something like that. But it's uh, well worth it. How and there's the, other the, ad, the numbers and the addresses. Does it automatically give that? Or is that another option you, you have to add? The which? The numbers? The phone numbers and the addresses. If you pick a, an area that you want. A neighborhood or geographic area in your in your local, you know. Oh, okay. Does it does it give you uh uh geo does it give like you farms. farm data? Uh, no. No. Okay, because I thought she you said it did. Yeah, if you can import any Earth kind of farm sealed data. it from Mojo. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, but there's a new feature in in Lofty or Chime. They, where you could do farming marketing. Um, there's like a, a camp. There's a new marketing uh, feature that you could really download. Um, you could buy. You have to you have to pay for it. But within Lofty, you could really uh, get your farming area with their um, with their information. And okay. so you could really yeah. And it's amazing in within the um, you could you know really search by their age or I mean that's I'm interested because I'm looking for you know working with seniors. So I'm, so anyway, that's one of the features that they you could you know grab um, you know farming area based on their age. So okay. it's 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 amazing what you can do. Sorry, just to jump on that, Betty. You said that you did a webinar recently on that. 
No, 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 I didn't. Uh, Lofty did. Lofty right, did. that you participated I, in. Sorry. I took that back. I took that back. It was like a one on one um, um, webinar with a with a, uh, a a marketer from Lofty. Yes, you can sign up for that. Yeah, and they'll go they'll go go deep with you on, on you know depending on your your needs and your, and your wants. Yeah. Oh, you also do have a feature in in Lofty built in, and if someone comes in and doesn't leave the information, it will let you look them up. But that's a, that's a paid for add on as well. But it's nice that it's integrated into the system. Yeah, Lofty has a ton of extra features and helps you do your marketing and all kinds of things. Those are a lot of extra add on bolt on uh, extra features that you pay extra for. Awesome. Herb, I know you have a nine o'clock appointment. So don't be late. All right. Thank you. But thank you for being here. Uh, we appreciate you. I know. Alex, thank you, Herb. Alex, you have a question? Yeah, I actually just signed on with Chime, like I want to say three, maybe four weeks ago at this point. I think it was Kaya. Jesus. Uh, um, I mostly signed on. I mostly signed on for the um uh the dialer for the most part. I used Commissions Inc. for six and a half years. And that was my, she has to like when this is happening. And um, that was the main reason why I went into it. But I love um, the smart plans in there and just how customizable this website is. Um, one thing I was, so it was kind of fitting that this was what uh, came up today so that I could kind of see what some of our other Mishorians are doing. Um, my one question was the bomb, bomb integration within the smart plans. Uh, and Betty, maybe this is a good question for you. Um, have you dabbled much in that or found out if the bomb bomb or the YouTube videos are better for the emails or what has been your oh. experience? With that? Oh, okay. From, I have not, uh, I have not dove into the smart plans yet. So my main concern was before I could bring over my, cause I had my website parked somewhere else. So my main concern was trying to get my website built as as um in as you know looking a lot like you know my past um website anyway so now that i'm done more or less kind of got the website uh kind of figured out so i'm going to be diving into the crm and the smart plans just what i've seen i'm like so ready to kind of dive in and uh work with the CR the smart plans because smart plans it's just a, just a little bit I've you know that i've you know dabble into it's it's ma it's amazing it's just there's so much I got, I need to figure out what what's the best one there because they, they do offer so many um, built in smart plans for you. So anyway, sorry you about can, you that. can run both. You can run both. And and like they said, with everything else, split test and track your results because it tells you the activity and, and you'll see what's in there. It's it's very simple. I mean, on, on most CRMs, as far as bomb bomb, um, are you talking about just dropping a video in there for something or, or being able to track the email? Uh, both. So I have over 10,000 leads from my previous CRM. Um, I used to use Commissions Inc. and I found this to be um, actually much more customizable than I think ever was and much more inexpensive. But uh, in general, my main reason for hiring Lofty, it's still Chime when I hired him, uh, was that uh, the lead generation that they get through Google Analytics and through IDX. And, you know, my, my bread and butter is just queuing up a dialer and, and talking to people about real estate, right? So the website design, I wish I could just like put you into a needle, and inject you into my arm, Betty, because all that design stuff that you were doing, I wish I could do anything like that. I wish I could just copy paste what you were you were doing there. But um, because I have 10,000 leads, um, I want to make sure I get some emails out to them, get them on some sort of a smart plan. And I'm trying to decide if using YouTube or if using BombBomb in those emails is a better setup. Um, and that's, that's just one thing that I'm, I'm currently working on with. My answer is both. I know I say both. both. Yeah. Cause a lot of things I don't really care to park in YouTube. So I just pop the bomb bomb, um, email thing in there, which is good, but I do want to drive my clients to my YouTube. So definitely use those two. So maybe just mix it up. Mix yeah. It unlike, up. unlike Facebook. Um, YouTube isn't in competition against Lofty. So when you're running stuff through there, um, like I said, it integrates well with everything. This is probably one of the easiest platforms I've ever had to deal with. So I would go in, look at the smart plans they have. Um, they they even put some curator stuff into there. So I just took and modified some of their stuff and put it in there and you won't have a problem. 
Awesome. Good stuff. Thank you, Betty. Uh, I think Herb's already gone. I appreciate you. Um, uh, if you haven't uh, filled out the form to get the replays, uh, we're going to do that and we'll put in an affiliate link for the chime. We're going to find it <laughs> and then put it in there. So um, anyway, I'm going to jump into the VIP room where we're going to be talking about circle prospecting. Mr. Alex, sounds like something else he would love. Uh, anyway, um, so I will see you in the VIP room or next Tuesday. Have a great week. And I hope your pie hangovers are not as bad as mine. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks, everybody. Bye.